Starting a foundation really was on my mind basically around the draft. You know, I knew the second I was going to have that platform, um, I knew I wanted to give back, I knew I wanted to help, and, and just going about it was now the next conversation to be had and, and how we wanted to do that, and it took time. Ended up being three things I'm really passionate about. First and foremost is um, a lot of people overseas that do, you know, provide food, water, education, shelter. Um, really for those in need, the biggest thing for me is that they're all kind of Christ-centered, Christ-focused, um, that, that there's a church or there's really the gospel behind all of it. Really the second and third pieces are really um, the outdoors and my love for dogs. And so the outdoors part is um, in the Midwest that provides some hunting opportunities, some outdoor opportunities for those that really wouldn't get that opportunity. And then the, the last piece is um, in the Philadelphia area. I know what service dogs can do and what they can provide for kids and families and, and people in need. Um, and so that's the, the last piece will be the, the service dogs and helping provide those. Having my three passions um, kind of integrated into this foundation uh, made perfect sense because now I'll be that much more involved, I'll be that much more invested, um, and I'll be that much more passionate about it. And I know in my life when I'm passionate about something, I, I go all out and I go for it and um, I think that's the best way to go about it and I think that's the best way to, to make the biggest difference. The location of the launch, um, I knew I wanted to do it in North Dakota. The plan is to do something out in Philadelphia um, probably next spring, but uh, I knew I wanted to start this thing off in North Dakota, where I'm from, um, kind of get the people back here excited about it. We didn't really know how much we'd make. We didn't really know how much we'd be able to raise and, and how that would all happen. Um, kind of just trusted the Lord through it, honestly. And at the end of the day, we wanted to kick off the foundation the right way, kind of get some awareness out there, get, get it out there. Um, I'm so incredibly grateful and thankful for the people in North Dakota and the people that were in attendance that were that were there and um, helped contribute because it was uh, it was an incredible night to say the least. Going into this, Zach and and I didn't really have a lot of experience planning events, you know, so to speak, and so. Getting Shields' expertise on a lot of things was, was incredible, being able to partner with them, but then that they can kind of take it to the next level for me and help me with my foundation, what I'm really passionate about. It's been an amazing relationship and between them and my brother kind of organizing and taking care of all the logistics and everything, they, they did an amazing job. Yeah, I wanted to do something different um, in terms of the food, in terms of the, the kind of the, the plan of, for the program. Um, and so I, I just thought, let's do some wild game. You know, let's do something different that people um, usually wouldn't have. Um, I, wanted to, I wanted it to be memorable at the end of the day. contributions for the silent auction were, were incredible, honestly. Uh, my brother did an amazing job kind of finding some different things, some, some kind of random things, some artwork, some uh, just different things that you wouldn't be able to buy in a store. He did an amazing job finding them and the people were so generous and, and I'm so grateful for that and, and they did an amazing job um, with the products and the, the things that we did have. Um, it, was, it was really cool. Hood again, buying those another bid now. Six thousand. Who was the big talk over there? Ten thousand? Fifteen? You gonna let him have it or what? The live auction was was incredible. You know, it got off to a really hot start with with a pretty simple item going for for a lot of money, and um, I knew we were in for for a treat after that. And, and the auctioneer did an amazing job, and that really exceeded my expectations by by a ton. You know, I wasn't sure where some of those items were. Again, they were kind of random items and I wasn't really sure what they'd go for, but uh, they went for way more than I ever would have imagined. And, and all I could think about was just kids and people in need all over the world 
um, in the Philadelphia area, in the Midwest, and, and in foreign countries. Just I kept seeing just faces of little kids just and lives being changed and lives being impacted for, for the kingdom and, and everything that, that goes with that. That's all I could think about and I was getting chills um, just thinking about it and it was, it was so cool. It was such an amazing night. Let's keep this thing going. Got a lot of generous people in the room and what we're gonna offer tonight is we will match. If we have 10 people that are willing to give $10,000 for $100,000, Shields will match that with another 100,000 to raise $200,000. Seeing the, the, gen, the generous donations at the end of the night um, for no prize or anything um, was really mind blowing. People just willing to contribute just because they knew they, they ultimately just trusted the foundation, trusted the mission and what it was all about. Um, that was so cool to me. It was so cool, it was so humbling to just see the impact that that money can make. And it was, I, I was really kind of numb up there. I was in awe of how, how generous these people were in, in the audience and how generous Shields was and, and everything that transpired. It was, it was really incredible.